Okay, so this is the first step in uh, basically installing the, the printed CNC conversion kit. Um, you basically need to strip down the X and Y axis. Uh, this little XY table is known as the uh, KT70. Um, it's included with the MF70. Um, so I'm just going to give you kind of a brief overview of uh, how it's assembled, what parts are in it, and what we're going to keep. Um, I've already taken apart the top. Um, it's basically identical to the bottom. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and, and show you how to do that. Uh, first thing you want to do is this little plastic cap here. You're going to take this off. This exposes the screw. Um, this is pinned in and it's covered. Uh, mine's not actually pinned in, but I'm just pretending it is. Um, but yours will be. Um, so you can't really get to the pin um, because there's this collar on it. So you'll want to do what you'll want to do is hold this uh, tight, and basically um, you'll want to basically go the opposite direction you normally would. So to loosen this, we'll basically go clockwise, or what you would, what you would consider tightening. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick, so I can I can lock it. So you're gonna take your you know, whatever you're going to use, your socket, like you're tightening it. Take this nut off. So now you have the nut off, and you've got uh, your handle on here. So basically, um, you can push, now you can push this forward, and you can slide this collar off here and you gotta kinda of be careful because there's a little there's a little pin here that will pop out um, that keeps tension on this. Um, you can see the little pin here. So to set that aside and you can see here's the locking collar. Or not the locking collar, the measuring collar. Um, so on yours there'll be a pin in here. Um, you can either decide to knock out the pin now or just unscrew Yours won't be able to do this, but um, unscrew. Okay, here. I can simulate it. So you want to unscrew your handle, or you'll go counterclockwise, and you can see it, it comes out. So you're wanting to do this until the screw basically comes out completely. So it's free now. I'm gonna pull the lead screw out. Um, at this point, you could tap this pin out. So once that pin's out, you can separate the uh, basically the manual handle. Um, there is a spacer on here, a metal spacer. You're gonna to need to reuse this. Um, so you'll want to keep the spacer lead screw the nut. Um, you don't need this end cap, you don't need the uh, measurement collar, you don't need this pen, you don't need the handle. Now we have, um, essentially this is now loose, you can move it back and forth. Um, these end caps will need to come off, so we're going to go ahead and unscrew those. These are self-tapping M3s. If I take this off, this plate will come off. Um, this comes off. And then you can pull out this little dust cover. I'll do the same for the back side. Take this off, take the metal plate off, take out the dust cover. 
that's pretty much it as far as tearing it down. You can kind of see, um, I'll slide this out a little bit. There's a Delrin nut in the middle, and that's basically what the, what the lead screw was going through. Um, you can just go ahead and leave it there. Um, there's also the um, little brass plate that he uses to, a little brass shim that he uses to um, right up against the rails. Um, if you do have to take this out, like sometimes, you know, you'll you want to take this plate off. What I would suggest doing is, you can see on this one, I've got two little um, black marks, um, two little notches, and that will let me, um, so if I need it, basically I'll, I'll know which orientation is correct, because these, um, I, I forget what they call these, basically they're, they, they'll sort of tighten the slide. Um, so it's kind of important to know um, if it's, you know, it, this can vary, the width of this, I'm assuming, can vary. So you just kind of want to keep it oriented the way to the way it's been adjusted. Um, so I'll go ahead and slide this piece back. Um, so this is pretty much fully disassembled. Um, you can do it on the top. Um, top has the same deal with, um, you can see there's the nut down in there. Um, so that's pretty much fully taken apart. Um, you'll see these end caps, they use a, a small thrust washer um, and this metal plate to sort of give it some rigidity. Um, it's still not an incredible amount of rigidity, so um, this actual this little XY slide actually doesn't have very much backlash. The Delrin nuts are, are pretty tight. Um, so if you were able to tighten, um, tighten these ends together, um, you end up with very little backlash. Um, the one sort of thing stopping you from doing that is these will sort of buckle in on each other. So that's kind of uh, one thing that the uh, the printed kit addresses. Uh, I'll go over that more in more detail. Um, you don't need to reuse this. You don't need to reuse the thrust washer. You don't need to reuse these shields. Um, so pretty much all you really need to use is uh, the lead screw this metal spacer, um, and this nut. The lead screw, one thing to notice is uh, this is six millimeter diameter, and this is four and a half. Four and a half is kind of a weird, uh, sort of weird diameter, so there's a couple ways we deal with it. Um, so yeah, in the next videos, uh, I'll cover the uh, disassembly of the Z stage and then the installation of the printing kit.